Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set B-Ray parameter for an exterior scene using some details that can make the scene looks a little bit more realistic. I'm going to use a medium sized building. This building already mapped with B-Ray material. I'm using a bright background that I think is going to be suitable for our scene. But I didn't add any tree objects because I feel that it wouldn't be realistic enough. I'd rather add it later using Photoshop. First, we're going to set the view. Then create the scene. I zoom it a little bit more than the viewport because I'm going to create a smaller image aspect. Now we're going to set the rendering parameter. First, the global setting. Turn on hidden lights, so when you hide the lights, it will show on the scene. We're going to limit the reflection refraction depth by 2. I'm going to use Catmull Rock to make the edges appear more smooth. Raise the maximum depth to make the render faster. And then change the rendering order from top to bottom. Now go to environment. Change the ozone value to 1 to have a brighter bluish scene. Raise the subdivision value. Make the GI color a little bit brighter. Reduce the shutter speed to 100. To save time, I'm only going to set a small image output. But with this setting, you can create a bigger output. And I'm going to change the image aspect to 1.6, so when you render it, the sky and the street part will show. Turn on ambient occlusion so we can have sharper image. I'm not going to change much of the radiance parameter because the default parameter from Vira is good enough. But I'm going to raise the subdivision value. Change the sample size to 0.01. For the path sampler, I'm going to use Legacy. For color mapping, I'm using Linear Multiply. And then reduce gamma to 1.9. Remove effect background. If you feel that this setting isn't bright enough for your scene, you can raise the GI value or the sunlight intensity. Or you can add the film speed value. Now we're going to set the sunlight direction. The sunlight value is already set when we set the viewer parameters. Don't forget to update the scene. And then I'm going to use displacement to create more realistic grass. Import the grass texture as usual. And then I'm going to add the displacement here. I'm going to put in 3 so the grass height would be about 3 cm. Using this kind of paper. Next, we're going to add the tree shadows. 
Import the texture. And then using transparency, we're going to form the trees. Preview it. Now we're going to create a new rectangle and then map it with the tree texture we've just made. The tree shadows more or less will be like this rectangle shadow. I'm also adding displacement on the water texture. I give 100 to bump and 5 for displacement. Now render it. The result will be something like this. Hope you like it. Good luck!